so light here. Please appreciate it. Thank you. So today is a first of the many, one of many videos that I'm more me is going to be doing because why? Because she has hair. I have know. more hair than she do. Oh, that great. Jeez. No, what a lot of it. You got a lot of it. You got a lot of it. Here come, here's the person who caused me to have it. Mother. But anywho, today I'm going to be showing you maybe three or four hair tutorials on how to do your natural hair mother she's gonna be in the end in the beginning because there's no need for her just to stay here when i'm gonna be doing That's most right. of the hair tutorial mm -hmm. things to be doing or whatever and on that note i'm gone i'll see y'all in a minute bye thank you get him out of here now y'all back to me let me take a hat i'll get y'all there we go She's so loud, y'all. So I'm gonna show you three or four hair tutorials on how to do your natural hair. Right now, my hair is like three weeks of not being washed today. It's wash day, but I wanted to do um, three, three hair tutorials, three hair tutorials on hair before I get to wash it, because I want to show you what it looked like before and after or whatever. So the first one is I'm gonna show you. Actually, the uh, essentials that you're gonna need for this video is a brush, a soft brush. This one's kind of soft. Uh, this is the coconut oil I use. It really works really good. It's kind of like I use for edge control, even though I really don't be needing the edge control or whatever. But this is the coconut oil I use. I got it from um, Walmart. The uh, Curl Styler Cream Pudding. It works really, really good. I use this on my hair. That'll be for the hat puff. And also, the hat puff, it'll be the brush, the um, the coconut oil, this little headband, and a bandana if you want to use it. And I use put a bandana around my butt. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And I have some bobby pants. Oh, snap, I forgot a uh, comb. Oh, we're gonna come back to that one. But uh, some body pins for the other hair tutorials. So let me take my glasses off, y'all. Sorry if I can't see anything. So I'm gonna show you how I do my high puff. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put uh, double up my um, what is this? Double up my uh, headband and put it around my head. Yeah, so back to see like this. It's kind of squeezing my hair right now, but that would be good. So this is how my hair looks now, not washed. And then take some of the um, coconut oil. And just put like, I usually do like this, just like a little hand. Or a knuckle full. This. And just put it on around your little edges or around the front. I'll show you. Put a little bit more. Put them all around the front. Now put some on the back. See? And then just take the brush. I got this, also got this at um, Walmart too. It's really, it's kind of, it's really soft. All I do is just brush. And then brush around the back too. And then just push up your headband to however tight you want your hat puff to be. And then you can just like pull out your, pull your hair out or however you want to style it. So, so, it is. so this is the first one. It's the hat puff, which is what you would see on almost every girl's hair for a natural hair or whatever. So, here you go. Okay, 
da neće da tamo kuće ne znam. Evo da. So that is the first of many. And usually I put a bandana or I leave it like this either way. It works, but here's how you do my bandana. Oh, that, that a coconut oil, honey. Yes, honey, yes. So I'll tie the bandana around. I don't put a knot. I used to put a knot, but then it started to hurt up him. I started to get a little headache. So just do this. And then... Yeah, I don't want to do that. you. And then that is how I do my hair. So that is the first, first thing I do. All right, so that is the first, um, first natural hairstyle hairdo, which is this one. So let me bring you back to the second one. Let me take a little picture of this because I don't know how to do it right now. So let me take you back to the second one. And plus, I have to go get my comb. So I'll be back with that one. All right, y'all, we back with the second half So I undid the half puff. I took all of that down. And now I'm going to show you how to do like a side part with a swoop. I really don't know what it's called, but we're going to move side part, swoop type of thing. Oh, let me put this down, child. Okay, so for this one, all you're gonna need is a comb, whichever comb you want. It's the comb I use. I got this from Walmart too, everything from Walmart. Oh, is this from Sally? I think this was from Sally. It's Sally, Sally, Sally. So you need your comb. You're gonna need two body pins. I got two of the big ones, or however many you want to hold your hair down. And the uh, coconut oil with the cream, curl style cream puff again. This is gonna be used for this one again. And also the brush. So, to start this off, you're gonna decide which side you want your part on. Usually I go on my right side, uh, then my left side. I don't know, I always do it on my right side. So all you gotta do is, I'm gonna show, look in the mirror. All I do is part your hair, so let me. Before I would show you, I don't mind my dry hair. Uh, I'm about to wash it. So here's my little part that I have constructed. I usually do my hair like this sometimes too. But yeah, so here's the part. You do your hair. You, you do your part, y'all. You do your part. And then again, take some of the um, coconut oil. Put some got on my hands, y'all. Do a little dab dab. Dibble dabble. And you also put that on this part. I got it on now. So now all I'm doing is taking the brush again and just brush, brush it down. And as I'm brushing, I'm kind of going to like pull it back. Uh -oh. But usually I put body pins on it because I like for it to stay back because sometimes my hair does not like to cooperate. And it likes to come up. So I'm just going to like brush it down, brush it down, girl. Go on, brush your hair down, girl. And take your two body pins and like this put one up this way and put the other up this way then there's yes your side part with a swoop on it and then it came up how how disrespectful but Here's the side part with a swoop, y'all. Most of these hairstyles I kind of like was watching before I did, before I started to do like 
natural. I think I was in the process. I was in natural uh, hair, doing you, natural hair. For, got, for you guys that don't know, I've been going natural for three years. I cut. I last time I had a perm was uh, June. No, yeah, sorry. July 18, 2014 was the last time I had a perm. And I actually cut my hair twice. The first time I cut it was um, June of uh, 2015. And then I cut it again April 22nd, 2016. I cut it the uh, first time because I wanted to go natural. And you know, uh, everybody was going natural back then. Plus, when I first got my perm in July, I permed my hair myself and boy, no way, no, no, no way, Jose, because that did not work out too well. I got a perm my eye, but that's a story to tell for another time. And uh, so I cut my hair because I feel like I, when I got my perm, and you know how days, weeks, or whatever go by, it's like you needed a perm. My hair really didn't like it needed a perm, so I was like, I'm not gonna perm it no more. So yeah, and then um, April 22nd, 2016, I cut it again because my crazy self dyed my hair with some dye that wasn't really for my hair. And it, I only dyed half my hair, half of it was blonde, and that side was like extra short, and like, the, it was so dry, and it was like ridiculous, so I just cut all my hair off. And that was last year, and it's last time I cut it. So it was like, I don't think it was like this short, because I got like a pixie cut or whatever, so like the bag and stuff was short, and the top was long. So as you can see, my hair come through honey, whatever. So yeah, that was like kind of animation of doing my natural hairstyles. Sorry, this is the same so, yeah, so, uh, natural hairstyle that you can do on yourself. I'm trying to show y'all, show y'all the back. Uh, all the way. Cause I usually do these a lot. I usually do my high puff because that's the easiest one. This one too, I really like doing this one. So yeah. So that is the second one. Also. Um, I'ma do, should I do another one of this style? It's still gonna be this one, but instead of doing like the side, side part and a swoop, you can take the body pins out. Oh, actually, let me take a picture of this. T take a picture of this, yeah, real quick, cause I'm, I'm still looking fierce and fabulous, honey, so let me go back and take this picture, honey, I'll be back. All right, y'all. We back with it. So this will be the third hairstyle. The fourth one, I said three or four, so I'm gonna do four. And the third hairstyle will be, it's still gonna be this way, but instead of doing like a swoop, you can like either uh, twist it or braid it on the side. My tip is going to be to uh, braid it, and we will see how that goes. So all you have to do, or should I twist it? I don't know, either way it works. So let's go and get this hair back out here, child. And those of you that want to know, I have no idea. This isn't my natural curl pattern. Uh, when I wash it, I'll show you my natural curl pattern. pattern. This is from a twist out. That's all going to roll back to the first, to the last hair tutorial of how my hair got to this. But you guys will see my natural um, curl pattern with the fourth hair tutorial. So yeah. So let's try, we're gonna just like twist this part. You can either twist it or braid it, whichever one you prefer. If you're not that good at braiding, you can twist it. If you're not that good at twisting, you can braid it. If you're not good at either one, you could just do the little swoop swoop. Or you can like, you can have it like this too. Just like part it. Keep it like that, honey. Do do how you do, honey. You can either do that, lay some bites in here. Honey, your style, you're gonna look beautiful either way. So I'm gonna braid this side and I'll show you what it. Third hairstyle that you can do. It's like a little twist. I don't know if you can see it that good, but there my little twist twist. I little strong something for y'all to do. That's also like this is like some e quick, easy hairstyles if you're like in a rush or anything like that. But the last hairstyle, um, 
Um, they so loud, y'all. The last hairstyle, I'm not really, I'm not gonna say that's a quick, easy hairstyle, but like if it's a, if you're doing like, if, if you have like a wash day and you don't know what to do to your hair and you wanna do a twist style, that's usually, that's gonna be the last hairstyle, I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. So, here is this one. Just a twist, boom, boom, boom. So yeah. So that is the third hairstyle of four. So uh, my next hairstyle, I have to wash my hair in order to do that. Plus it's wash day for me, Sally. I really hate doing wash day. Uh, so then I'm gonna come back and show you, show you guys how to do the last and final uh, natural hairstyle. So yeah. All right, y'all, I am back with the fourth hairstyle out of the four that I showed you earlier. So, like I said earlier, I had to go wash my hair because today is wash day. In order for me to do my fourth hairstyle, my hair needs to be washed because it's been like three weeks since I washed and I think it'll look better if I wash it or whatever. So, the fourth hairstyle is going to be uh, how I do my twist out. So, the uh, things that you're going to need for this is... Uh, a wide tooth comb. This is kind of comb I use. I got this also from Sally's. May, may, all of my products are mainly from Walmart and Sally's. So a comb, uh, two ponytail holders. Uh, I use this type of grease for my hair, the olive oil formula uh, growth therapy. I also got this at a uh, good old Walmart. A clip or any clip to like hold down the hair that you're going to separate from all of your other twists and the good old coconut oil formula. So, yeah, so let me show you. First off, um, I'm gonna show you how I separate my hair. I don't do it like people do it like in four sections. I usually do it in uh, two sections or whatever. So first off, get your good old comb. And all I do, I usually do like a little part in the back. Oh. First off, let me grease my head, child. Where am I, where am I going? And now I will part it. I was so backwards uh, like I don't know what I'm doing. So now, part your hair. I do like one little uh, section in the back. So, or how big you want your sec your section to be, you can part it. So you kind of like separate that from the rest. Use uh, use your little clip or whatever you want to separate your hair. And then I divide it in uh, two sections at the top. Your hair is in two different sections. <laughs> I don't know why I did it, yeah. So I take one section. And I put that in a ponytail. You want your station inside of your hand. Put the clipper back. Then you can take your clip out. And then, uh, however many uh, you want in the bag, is have an app. However many you can do, but I usually do like four in the back or whatever. So, just part of the section. Comb it out. It's also good for like detangling your hair if you do all, do all that junk, but I kind of did that whenever I washed it. If y'all want to see how I wash my hair or uh, wash how I, yeah, how I wash my hair, let me know. Or if you think I'm doing good at this tutorial because this is my first one. So go ahead and comb that out. You can separate the rest of your hair with a little pin, twist, clip, honey, and then take it 
take the uh, coconut oil or coconut oil formula. Coconut oil, yeah. Get like a little. Let's see how much. Get like this much, maybe some more. It doesn't matter. Let me give it more, y'all. Yeah. Put that on the little, um, do like this. Put that on the little section. And then as you finish putting that in the little section, see how it's, oh, child. Okay. So then you take that and then take it, take it in two different sections. Then twist, twist. Twi and there's your one little twist. That look kind of thin. So whenever it's um, so when we start to dry, it'll thicken up again. So now take whatever size you want, take that off, take the point out, and part into a section. start doing the rest of my head. The rest of my head is just gonna go like what I just showed you. Like uh, I'm finished doing the side. Just part it into a section and then within that section make like maybe two or three or however many twists you want on your head and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go finish my head and then I'm gonna come show you guys the finished result of my twist out honey. Alright y'all. Alright y'all. <sighs> About two hours later, I finished my hair. I told y'all this hairstyle was not for something quick and easy. Well, you gonna turn my hair like that? But here's my little twist out. The pro only problem was I didn't do a good of a twist out as I did um, last time. I think I made it a little bit too thin, but you get what you get. So yeah, and uh, whenever I do my twist out or whenever I do my hair. I use a satin or silk. Uh, satin. satin scarf and I tie it around the edges, edge parts, and I put a bonnet on it to put on top because sometimes the bonnet be falling off so the scarf will help. Whatever. So y'all let me know how I did on my first first head tour. Cause um I really didn't have no expectations of how I was gonna do this. I was just gonna flow with the rhythm, get on my boat and just I don't do that. So let me know if you guys want to see more hair tutorials on how I do my hair. If you want to see uh, my wash day routine. If you want to see how, how, mother, how my mother do her hair. If you're interested in that. Just let us know if you want to see more um, my little more hair tutorials or whatever. Cause they're, they're pretty good for my first time, y'all. You got just a few styles. Hopefully you put them to use. Hopefully you get some of the products I use, especially that coconut oil, because that's really good if you don't want to use like any um, edge control or gel or whatever. Mm -hmm. What was that? So yeah, so thank you guys so, so, so much for coming through, checking out our little hair, hair tutorials for new beginning or whatever. Mm -hmm. And anything you have to say, Ma? I'm tired. Use such a Thank you for watching. Don't forget to Share, subscribe, like, comment. I said all that out of order. And go watch our um, previous videos Mondays and um, Saturdays vlog. Mm -hmm.
helpful. Don't forget to go check those out. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to definitely subscribe to the Obi Person. You're with the person if you don't subscribe to the channel, but you're most with the person. If you're the channel, get notified, turn on the notification bell. Go watch some of my previous and recent videos just to get to know us more, girl. Oh boy, whoever we'll watching. So, once again, don't forget to stay being beautiful. You look early, ain't you? <laughs> so, don't forget to stay being beautiful, stay being blessed. Stay being you, stay being G, stay being player paper. She better knock me out the way to get out the darn door, y'all. So, it ain't hot. Control yourself, mother. All right, y'all. Peace.